so I get a lot of people that wonder how the groundwork that we do translates into the writing that we do. And today I'm going to show you a little demo. It's really simple and basic, but basically how we can move our horse's shoulder from the ground and then how that translates to when we're in the saddle. So we want to be able to move our horse's shoulder without a whole lot of resistance. And the way we get there is by asking for that on the ground, building their confidence, getting them to a point to where they're comfortable just moving when you apply a little bit of pressure. So we've worked on this, but the idea is I want them to be able to respond to that pressure and move that shoulder away from me. So the idea is to be able to move your horse's shoulder without having to use a whole lot of pressure. If I can move my horse lightly with light pressure on the ground, when I get up on the saddle and I'm putting my leg on him, that's going to be a little bit more acute pressure. I'll certainly be able to move him with more direct pressure. So if I can use a little bit of uh, less direct pressure where I just kind of push towards that front end and move that shoulder over, well then I'm, I'm going to be in a great position when I'm riding my horse and I'm asking him to move his shoulder over for me. Good boy. So every time that I approach with him, he tries to avoid the obstacle by going to one side or the other so that he doesn't have to step on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quietly ask him to move his front end over so I can straighten him up here and have him approach it straight on. So I'll just apply a little pressure with my stick. Good boy. So he responded to the pressure, he squared up. I wanna take a nice, big, deep breath and let him know that he's made a good decision here. And now I'll ask him to walk on. So we're kind of running into the same thing here where he wants to completely avoid the obstacle, try to duck from one side to another instead of just going straight on. So just like we did on the ground, I'm going to go ahead and move that shoulder over with a little bit of pressure from my leg there. And I'm going to straighten him up. I'm going to take a deep breath. And he's licking and chewing. He knows he's made a right choice. And then I'll let him walk up here. Oh, very good. Oh, I'm going to straighten him up there. Keep him in the center. And you see how I just moved his shoulder over. A little pressure with my leg. And I'll let him back down here. Oh, that was a good job. Good boy, Nemo. Thanks for checking out the Steady Horse Training System. We're so confident in our system that I've put together a mini video series for free, just for you. It's where I feature all of my coolest tips, tricks, exercises that you can start using right now to impact your horse, to make your horse safer, and to enjoy a more rewarding relationship. Go ahead and click the link below. Sign up now to gain immediate access.